What's up YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be a bit interesting, I guess you could say, because I'm going to be talking about a big question that's been swirling all throughout social media for quite a while now, but nobody knew about it. Well, the question is, what is, what, what is that question? The question is, are we seeing the end of the bloodline? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, wait a minute, end of the bloodline? How could it be the, the end of the blood, bloodline? They're on top of the world. Yeah, that may be the case, but if you guys remember the shield, Seth freaking Rollins took a chair to the back of both Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. And there were signs that it was going to be the end of the shield, which... One one of those signs was Batista uttering the words "I quit" and leaving the WWE again. That was one of the major signs that we were going that we were seeing the end of not just of Evolution but of the Shield. But now you guys, but now the world's asking, what are the signs that it's it's the end of of the Bloodline? Well. Yeah, guys, my nose is running. Good thing I've got napkins here. I apologize, guys. I'm, 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 I've been having the right, the, the run, the runny nose since like last week. Okay. Okay, I think I'm okay. Anyway. Anyway, before we get into the video, if you guys enjoy this video video, and you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. Let's get straight into it and... Talk about the signs, what what are the possible signs that it's the end of the bloodline? One of the biggest thing one of the biggest signs that it is the end the end of the bloodline is the face turn, I guess you could say, of Sami Zayn. If you guys don't know, back in 2017, right around October in October of 2017, Sami Zayn turned turned heel by helping Kevin Owens defeat Shane McMahon inside Hell in a Cell. That point forward, Sami Zayn and both Owens and Zayn were under were under the impression that Shane McMahon was conspiring against those two and not receiving any title opportunities or receiving any form of opportunities to you know to begin with. And people forget that. And people forget that that both Owens and Zayn were actually good friends with Daniel Bryan, the GM at that time, and that's what truly sparked Sami Zayn becoming a heel, you know, of, you know, having a heel character become that fucking good, you know, and by, <clears throat> by WrestleMania 34 in, um, in 2018, in New Orleans, there was a tag match that was between Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan against Owens and Zayn, where if where it was if Owens and Zayn won the match, then they would keep their contract on contracts with SmackDown. If they lost, which they did, they would no longer be contracted excuse me, to SmackDown or or actually to WWE in general. Um, but they were given contracts to Raw, which made which made little sense at all. But it is what it is. Um, but over time, you know, over time, Kevin, you know, Kevin Owens, you know, he 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 got injured. Ta he was taken out of action for for quite a while. And w and when he when he came back, he essentially became a babyface. And then he turned heel for just a little bit. For just a little bit, but ended up becoming a babyface again with, with you know when when he um, had his rivalry with Seth Rollins 
and then of course two competing inside of War Games back in 2019. And then of course too, you know, you know, Sami Zayn, you know, he ended up being 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 a part of SmackDown. And he ended up becoming Intercontinental Champion by pinning Braun Strowman with the help of obviously Cesaro and of course Shinsuke Nakamura. He left he he left WWE right in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Excuse me. Because he refused to defend the title under those circumstances, which made no sense at all. Because you're a champion. You have you have to defend the title no matter where it's at. Literally, no matter where it's at. But obviously they 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 stripped him of of the title. And we and we had to crown a new champion, which I believe was in the form of Jeff Hardy. And then of course, the, and, and then of course from there, the rest is pretty much history. He kept. He said that he acknowledged Roman Reigns and wanted the help of the Usos in some battle royal that he competed in. And uh, there were signs. That, there, there were signs of him slowly becoming a babyface. And one of the biggest signs was his rivalry, I guess you could say, with Jey Uso because he wanted. You know, he was trying to make peace within within the bloodline. And the moment he said that the things that Jey Uso was doing wasn't very Usy, that was when I knew. I knew even I knew that he was slowly starting to be, slowly starting to become a babyface. And even during during uh, War Games as well, that was one of the big signs that he be you know started to become a babyface was hitting was stabbing Owens in the back by hitting him. With that low blow, but but the thing is, is that with Sami Zayn as a babyface, it's like, why would a babyface join a heel faction? Where have we seen that one before? We saw that with John Cena back in 2010 when he joined up with the Nexus by force. So so one of the biggest signs again again that it's the end of the blow is obviously obviously the face turn of. Of Sami Zayn, and also, and also too, there have been there's been a lot of there have been a lot of rumors uh, swirling that apparently Sami Zayn wants to challenge Roman for the undis for the undisputed Universal Title, which is a possibility. We could we could get that match again, but let's be honest, I don't see that happening anytime soon. That's just me. Another sign that it could potentially be the end of the Bloodline is. Is Solo Sokoa. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, wait a minute, Solo Sokoa, he just joined the bloodline and helped Roman retain the title in Cardiff. Yes, he did do that. But, but if you guys notice, but if you guys notice the first like several weeks of Solo being a full, a full fledged member of the bloodline, he, he threw up the one. But, if you guys notice, in, in the last few weeks, he hasn't done that. What does that mean? Well, there, well, obviously you guys know, you guys know of the rumors that there's going to be a match between Roman Reigns and The Rock. There's been rumors swirling that, we're, that we could see that. One of the biggest signs is Solo Sokoa could potentially be working for The Rock. Which is a possibility, because obviously... Because obviously, you know, The Rock is is a is, is is Samoan descent. You know, as is his daughter Ava Rain. They're both Samoan descent, and Ava Rain is the first fourth generation talent to get signed with WWE, which is which is awesome. So if so, if Solo Sokoa doesn't throw up the one, what does that mean? It means that he could he could potentially. It means one of three things. It can, it can either a it can mean either A, he's working for The Rock. B, he wants to go, he, he wants to turn his back on, on the bloodline and do things on his own terms. Or, or, it could just be a sign that, you know, he's working, you know, he that he's working for Sami Zayn as his insurance policy, I guess, I guess you could say. 
which is another possibility that we that might happen, but only time will tell. Another possible sign, an, an, another sign, is actually the end of War Games. But you guys are wondering. But you guys are wondering. Wait a minute, end of War Games. What are you, what are you talking about? What in the fuck are you talking about? Well, if you guys noticed, if you guys watched Survivor Series War Games like I did, then you will know that. They that the bloodline was, you know, you know Suta hand in hand, side by side, and both Roman Reigns and Jey Uso were looking di directly at Sami Zayn. But why though? Why? The answer is simple. Yes, it is true that Jey Uso did accept Sami Zayn in. Within the blood, you know, as a full-fledged member of of the bloodline, or as Roman Reigns said, a full-blown ooze, Jey Uso still has still has his doubts. And if you guys watched, watched, I think it was what Monday Night, what Raw this past Monday, then you'll know that that Jey Uso had that concerned look on his face. So it means that he still has doubts. That you know, he still has doubts of Sami Zayn's loyalty to to the bloodline. So it means that Sami Zayn still has a lot to prove to to Jey Uso. And another big issue with that that I believe is within with it was is within the bloodline is none other than Paul Heyman. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute. Heyman, excuse me, Heyman's been with Roman Reigns since he came back to WWE. Why the hell, why the hell would there be problems with Heyman? The answer is simple. Two words. Brock Lesnar. There's been rumors swirling, there's been swirl rumors that apparently Brock Lesnar yet want, wants yet another match with Roman Reigns. And if we get that match, I mean, to be fair, it could potentially mean that Paul Heyman might, might stab Roman Reigns in the back and join up with Brock Lesnar, which is a possibility. But we don't. But we don't know. We really don't know. And let's not forget, Paul Heyman. We know Heyman. Heyman has always stabbed people in the back in the last twenty. In the 20 years that he's been in, been with WWE, he has stabbed a fuck ton of people in, in the back. CM Punk, Curtis Axel, Cesaro, Ryback, Big Show, Brock Lesnar, Rob Van Dam. Um, you know, he stabbed a, a, a lot of people in the back. And, uh... It uh, really didn't work out. So it didn't for for some of them. It didn't work out work, work out so so well because they never became a champion. But for everyone else, it it it, it did wonders for them. They became champion because of because of Paul Heyman. So the so, so the question is, could Paul Heyman stab Roman Reigns in the back and leave the bloodline? Yeah, it's a possibility. But you never know what can happen because in, in WWE, the possibilities are endless. And another major sign that actually kind of, that actually kind of occurred to me and actually um, that we could see the end the, the end of the bloodline are the Usos. Are the Usos and their I guess you could say their re-interaction with the fans because you guys, because um because you guys know that when Jimmy Uso came back to WWE right after WrestleMania um the fans rejoiced, you know, you know they you know they wanted to see Jimmy Uso <clears throat> you know go at it as you know as a singles competitor which he he's done in, in which He's had quite a bit of success as a singles competitor. In, in fact, actually, over the years that that the Usos have been in WWE, you know, you know, both Uso brothers have had 
a lot of success as you know, you know, in one on one competition, but as a tag team, you know, doing it together, they've been unstoppable. And when they became SmackDown Tag Team Champions, um, what was it in June of last year in 2021? Um, you know, every you know their their historic range just kept you know you know basically started. You know when they pinned, you know when they defeated the you know the Mysterios, they essentially just went went dominant. They were dominant. And we never, and I never thought we would ever see the Usos, you know, re-interact with the fans like like we've seen in the last, you know, a couple months. And it's a possibility that, that that the Usos could stab Roman Reigns in the back and leave the bloodline. But let's not forget. But let's not forget about one important detail. Even if, let's say, for example, they they do. Okay, L let's say that. Let me take you guys back to Hell in a Cell in 2020, where we saw Jey Uso battle Roman Reigns inside Hell in a Cell for the Universal title, where the only way to win was to make your opponent utter the words, I quit. Roman Reigns told Jey, if you don't fall in line, if you don't, if you don't fall in line, and if you don't do as I say, if you stab me in the back, if you leave the bloodline, you're out of the family. You will no longer be a part of this family. And I think I, I think the, the exact same thing happened with Jimmy Uso when he came back and they both became tag team champions. So it's a possibility that we could see you know, we could see the Usos leave leave the bloodline and just do do their own thing like like they should have done year you know like, like they've done years ago and it's a major possibility but but I think the other the the other like major sign is I think honestly is Kevin Owens because because if you guys recall this past Monday on Raw Kevin Owens told told Sami Zayn, "Hey, you know what? I get it. I get it. I get it. I've done that to you countless times. Pay, you know, payback's a bitch. I deserve it, you know." And he even said, "They're not gonna. They won't. They're they're not your real family family like I am." And I think he was trying to split a wedge from within with from within the bloodline. To ensure that Sami Zayn finally gets it, gets in his head that that they're only you that they're only using Sami Zayn. But the question is, do do I do I believe in that theory? It's honestly I don't. I honestly I don't. But at the same time, it makes sense because because if you guys if you guys recall, Roman Reigns has been has used the bloodline. To help him retain his undisputed universal title countless times in the two years that he's been champion, even you know if, if you in how what would, what would be a prime example? Look at Cardiff. Look at Clash and look at Clash of the Castle in Cardiff. There was no bloodline, no Usos, no Sami Zayn, no Paul Heyman. Heyman was was still injured from what happened at 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 SummerSlam. The, the Usos and Sammy, they got taken out by Drew McIntyre just days before Cla just days before Clash of the Castle in Cardiff, and it was going to be one on one. Roman Reigns was going at it on his own, and right when the referee was going to hit the mat for three, out comes Solo Sokoa, the Usos' younger brother, which was the biggest sign. That you know what, which was literally, literally the sign that we needed that you know to ha you know get an, get an idea of what um of what of what that says about the bloodline you know of what that says says about about Roman the fact that he can't do it on, on his own that he has to rely on, on the bloodline and. Honestly, them I, I I've been saying that for a while. It's a fact. He cannot do it 
without the bloodline and let's say for example J you know you know the Usos do leave the blood bloodline let's say Solo Zakoa leaves the bloodline and let's say he goes to Raw let's say that for a pr as a prime example let's say that odds are the only person that would that, that would have have his back would be Sami Zayn but if Sami Zayn were to leave the bloodline because of Kevin Owens all Roman Reigns would have would be the, the the only person Roman, that Roman would have is Heyman, but Paul Heyman could also could also stab Roman Reigns in the back. So those are just some of of the signs that we that it could potentially be the end of of the bloodline. But an, another thing as well that I, that actually dawned on me, uh, there's been there's been a lot of rumors, especially on Instagram, and I'm actually gonna try and find it. Um, see if I can. Um, gonna have to go to my likes. Let's see. Let's see. Manage likes. So if I can if if I can find it, I might be able to show it off. But I don't th think I can find it. Cause there have been there have been rumors uh, swirling on on social media that we're gonna get a brand new set of tag team titles. Uh, for the Usos, but I don't think I can find it on my in my likes. Nope, I don't think so. Nope, maybe in my saved archive. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's been a lot of rumors. I yeah, I can't find. It. I don't think I can find it any. Nope. Nope. Can't can't find it. Well, apparently. Apparently, 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 there's been a a, a lot of rumors swirling that. Sometime in the next couple weeks, uh, Roman Reigns plans to present present the Usos with a brand new set of, of tag team titles, where it's where the plates are gonna be the same color as the as the titles that that they have now, but the leather is, is gonna be black. It's gonna be a black. It, it's gonna be black. So it's possible we could that we could see that the, you know those types of titles, but. I don't know. I don't. I, I think that's like the biggest sign that we could see the Usos leave the bloodline. That's like the biggest thing. But I do. But I do want to get your guys' opinion. <clears throat> I do. Excuse me. I do want to get your guys' guys' opinion on this because <clears throat> because with all with 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 all these things, things that I that I, that I brought brought up to you guys. That brings me to to the question of the day: Could we put, could we see the bloodline finally split after all all this time? Let me know down in, in the comments below. I'm very curious of, of, of what you guys have to say. But that will do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell. And follow me on my social media. The links will be in the description below. As will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash. Signing out.